This could herald the end of the controversy over where your wind turbines go. It's the world's first full-size floating wind turbine being towed into the deep waters off the coast of Norway. Seas previously too deep to mount a turbine where winds are often stronger than onshore. The High Wind project is the brainchild of Norwegian energy company Statoil Hydro, who say the concept offers real benefits. You will open up uh, extremely large areas and you will be able to uh, reduce some of the co possible conflicts you very often can have onshore and nearshore. You have, uh, and I'm thinking about fishery for instance, I'm thinking about uh, shipping lanes and also visibility. 65 metres of the tower will be visible above the waterline. A further 100 metres underwater contain ballast to keep the turbine facing into the wind in even the strongest North Sea storm. The pilot project turbine will generate 2.3 megawatts of power, enough for 1,600 British homes. And they aim for the next generation to be a similar size, but producing more than twice as much. Statoil Hydro say the potential market for floating wind farms is enormous, pointing to highly developed areas short of space, including Western Europe and Japan. First of all, we want to verify the concept that this is working. We want to show the world that this should be possible. And then when we have verified the technology, we hope that a lot of the supply chain will follow us and start uh, involving in this kind of business so we can develop an industry for floating turbines together with us. Moving wind farms miles away from the coast could also solve the problem of noise reduction, which sees onshore farms using less efficient turbines to limit any disturbance. The project is costing more than $60 million, with $9 million allocated for testing. Analysts say costly offshore repairs could quickly drive up those costs. But Statoil Hydro say this turbine should be producing electricity within months, heralding a new era in wind power generation. Stuart McDill, Reuters.